सो हेलो एवरी वन इफ यू आर इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी और क्लिनिकल रिसर्च फील्ड देन यू नो हाउ क्रूशल इट इज टू मेंटेन डेटा इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिकॉर्ड्स एंड सिग्नेचर्स टूडे वी आर ब्रेकिंग डाउन ट्वेंटी वन सी एफ आर पार्ट इलेवन द गेम चेंजिंग रेगुलेशन इस्टेब्लिश बाई यू एस एफ डी ए दैट सेट्स द स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिकॉर्ड्स एंड सिग्नेचर इन द रेगुलेटेड इंडस्ट्रीज सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर ट्वेंटी वन सी एफ आर पार्ट इलेवन रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड हाउ डज दिस रेगुलेशन हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग डेटा इंटेग्रिटी एंड एंश्योरिंग कंप्लायस विद रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट्स वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड एज वी एक्सप्लोर द की कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन सी एफ आर पार्ट इलेवन इंक्लूडिंग सिस्टम वैलिडेशन एक्सेस कंट्रोल एंड ऑडिट ट्रेल्स वेदर यू आर अ सीजन प्रोफेशनल और जस्ट स्टार्टिंग आउट दिस विल गाइड यू टू गिव सम इम्पॉर्टेंट इनसाइट्स दैट यू नीड टू नेविगेट थ्रू दिस रेगुलेशन एंड गिव यू कॉन्फिडेंस अलॉन्ग विद इट Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Without further ado, let's start. So now let us understand what exactly is 21 CFR Part 11. So 21 CFR Part 11 is a regulation that is established by US FDA that governs the use of electronic records and electronic signatures in regulated industry by US FDA which includes the pharmaceutical biotechnology and clinical research industry The full title of 21 CFR Part 11 under the regulation is for electronic records and electronic signature and the last revision to this guidelines was in 2003 This particular guideline was established to ensure that there is reliability, authenticity and integrity in the electronic records as well as the electronic signature. And this particular guideline was introduced to address the rising use of electronic system as you know that we are moving from the traditional paper based system to the electronic system and when we document the system the electronic system it is very important to clearly document it with a standard as well as the maintaining the record. related to the good manufacturing practices and the regulatory industries where the quality management activity has to be ensured so by this guideline the us fda ensured that there is a regulation to address the electronic records and electronic signatures which would be the basis of all the documentation or addressing all the electronic system validation that is used in this industries so that is 21 cfr part 11 Now, what are the compliance requirement of this 21 CFR Part 11? Let us understand. So, when it comes to compliance, the US FDA says that the system should be secure, well managed, and this stream of information need to have a access control and retrieval. The next aspect would be the particular system should be properly controlled, okay, through the documentation level, and there should be a high level of integrity and protection that has to be maintained digitally. next would be the traceability of the record history so all the changes made or all the records to the particular document has to be traceable in each iteration and this particular digital signature or digital data validation is a legally binding electronic signature of a significant activity which will ensure that com- everyone has completed the training everyone understand and there is a set of quality management plan or action to ensure the electronic records are treated with the same power as the traditional paper based system and by having the requirements for validation we ensure that the electronic system are used in your business and they are clearly validated in terms of a data validation plan and electronic signature validation plan to ensure that they are treated carefully as well as at par with the current standard of documentation so these are requirements now when it comes to 21 cfr part 11 compliance so whenever you generate a system which is compliant to 21 cfr part 11 there is a checklist which ensure that all these components are present and then and only then we can say that this particular system is compliant with 21 cfr part 11 and once that is compliant only then we can implement in clinical research pharmaceutical or biotechnology industry so first and foremost is the validation so the system which is being used in compliance to 21 cfr part 11 needs to be validated and that validation needs to distinguish between the valid and invalid records okay so that needs to be ensured second is audit trail 
so whenever a system keeps a detailed record there are changes in the record and each user action or each change in the record needs to be verified by the audit trail okay so the source of the data change needs to be traced next thing would be the electronic signature so whenever a system uses unique set of signature each user need to have a different uh, id of the electronic signature and that should be a specified link to the specified document okay so that is regarding electronic signature requirements next thing would be to record the copies and retaining the copies so whenever a system or a data stream that can provide uh, with to the fda okay whenever it is required that is needs to be in a readable format okay so that anyone can read that particular document and that particular document copies are retained in the system as they should be so that it is retrievable also and it is clearly readable in a format that uh, that should be in a pdf format for example to easily human uh, machine interface reaction okay the other aspect would be the security control so whenever the system is implemented that particular system needs to have a limited user base and that particular privilege or access to the system should be based on roles and responsibility so if and only if the subject requires that particular access then only it is granted and that access is also a restricted access and not open access to edit all the records next a uh, requirement would be the computer system that is being used so whether the system is optimized or not that particular system needs to have a thorough compliance with the documentation system so that it clearly works flawlessly with the system okay next thing would be the training so whoever is using the system which is compliance to 21 cfr part 11 needs to be properly trained needs to be qualified to use that system then and only then we can ensure that that data is not tampered with or that data is correctly maintained and entered last aspect would be the document control so whenever a system manages a document the life cycle of the document should be ensured and we need to know that whether the document was amended or there was change in version so that version control needs to be there so if you see these eight particular systems so that are the requirements of 21 cfr part 11 so whenever you check a compliance for 21 CFR Part 11 for electronic documentation and signature, you need to check all these parameters to ensure that the system has compliance. So now let us understand where can we apply this 21 CFR Part 11 and where it is heavily used. First thing is clinical research and in clinical trial. So whatever data is generated in the clinical trial, those that particular data or the electronic record must be in compliance to 21 CFR Part 11. So the systems used in clinical trial needs to be in compliance to 21 CFR Part 11 because this particular data would be submitted to US FDA. It needs to have that particular compliance to all the systems and software where the data is stored. Next thing would be the electronic system used by all the industry. So this particular clinical data or the clinical data management systems that we use currently across the industry so the electronic lab notebooks or any other system used to collect store or process the clinical trial data needs to have the validation of 21 cfr part 11 and finally when it comes to regulatory submission so all the electronic document all the electronic submission done to the us fda including the study reports the data needs to have adherence to 21 cfr part 11 so you understand that the scope of 21 CFR Part 11 is quite wide and it starts with the data generation in clinical trial to the data submission to the regulatory and maintaining the data in the entire industry. So that is applications of 21 CFR Part 11. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope we were able to guide you and help you understand what is 21 CFR Part 11. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that it brings us additional motivation to bring you such important updates.